Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll walk you through how to bridge data from EMQX Cloud to Google Cloud Pub slash sub using EMQX Cloud Data Integration. With EMQX Cloud Data Integration, you can easily connect and exchange data between your EMQX Cloud and GCP Pub slash sub services. So let's dive in. EMQX Cloud Data Integrations is used to configure the rules for handling and responding to EMQX message flows and device events. The data integrations not only provide a clear and flexible configurable architecture solution, but also simplify the development process, improve user usability, and reduce the coupling degree between the business system and EMQX Cloud. It also provides a superior infrastructure for customization of EM, QX Cloud's proprietary capabilities. The primary dimension of data integrations is the resource. A resource is a service provided by the cloud provider. It should already be set in the system architecture. Then choose the specific resource from the browse page. After the resource is settled, you need to create a rule to handle the data collected from the device. The rule can collect and process data in the way you want by using a SQL clause. When a rule is tested and created, action needs to be attached to the rule. It will send the data to the target resource. Let's have a quick review of the steps to bridge data to GCP Pub slash sub. First, you need to sign up on the EMQX Cloud website and create a professional deployment. I recommend that you choose Google Cloud as the deployment platform so that you don't have to enable the NAT gateway. Second, you can configure the GCP Pub slash sub. Third, configure the EMQX Cloud integration. Okay, now let me show you how to do it. First, you can log into EMQX Cloud Console and create a deployment. Follow the steps and choose Google Cloud as the platform will be more convenient. Click Deploy and review the agreement and related terms. It will take a few minutes to configure the deployment. Let's check our help document first. Now we can set up the GCP pub slash sub configuration. A topic is a named resource to which messages are sent by publishers. Go to the Google Cloud Console, navigate to your pub slash sub project, and select the Topics tab. Here you can create a new topic by clicking the Create Topic button. Give your topic a name and make sure to note the topic ID, which you'll need later on. Click Create and wait for a few seconds. You can see the prompt which shows you have successfully created a new topic and a new subscription. You can click the Messages tab and make a simple test. Select a Cloud Pub slash sub subscription to try to pull messages from and see the results. Click the Pull button and wait for a few seconds. Now you can see that no messages found. Then we go back to the EMQX Cloud console. In EMQX Cloud, authentication refers to controlling client connections to the server through server-side configuration when a client connects to EMQX Cloud. So we can add sample authentication information here. Then we use MQTTX as the test tool to simulate temperature and humidity data reporting. Copy the connection address from the overview page, open NQTTX, create a new connection, give a connection name as you like and paste the connection address, add the username and password just added in the authentication page. Click connect and you'll see the connection is successful. Then create a new subscription that subscribe to the topic, Tim's hum slash inks. Send the data in the message box and you can see the data is sent and received successfully. 
Go back to the console. Now we can set the data integration to GCP pub slash sub. Click the data integrations page and choose GCP pub slash sub card. Here you can see you need to upload the file containing the credentials to the GCP service account. Go back to the Google Cloud console. IEM and admin, service accounts, email. Enter the email details page. Click keys and generate a JSON file for identity authentication. The JSON file will be automatically downloaded. Go back to the EM QX Cloud Console and choose the file to upload. Test and create a new resource. Then create a new rule, copy the SQL statement from our help document, and paste them in the SQL input field. Fill in the same message and topic name we just said in NQTTX. Click the SQL test and have a quick test to see the result. Click Next and now you should fill in the GCP pub slash subtopic. Go back to the Google Cloud Console, copy the topic name we created before. Copy the message template from our document. Click Confirm and View Details. Then you can go to the monitor page to see whether the data is bridged to GCP pub slash sub successfully. Go back to NQTTX and send a message. You can see the success data here become one. You can change the message data and try again. and you can see the success data become two. Also, you can go to Google Cloud Console. Click the poll again. Now you can see the message you sent just now is bridged successfully. That's it. You successfully bridged data from your EMQX Cloud instance to GCP pub slash sub using EMQX Cloud data integration. With this bridge in place, you can easily exchange data between your EMQX Cloud and GCP pub slash sub services and build real-time applications that react to incoming data. If you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.